In this session, we're going to take a look at doing spot trapped or solid spot color separations working with Simple Steps Raster and Simple Steps Smart Rip 4.0. One of the most powerful features in Simple Steps Raster is the solid spot color separations we can do that really expedite our production art workflow. In other words, files that we receive from clients that we need to prep, separate, and get out on press. One of the first things we have to do when we receive one of these files is do an analysis. If we get a very low resolution file, such as we have here on the right, this is something that's not going to work very good. We're probably going to need to vector trace this or send this out for vector tracing. It's just not going to look good at a full front size on a t-shirt with the pixelation from the fact that the resolution is only down here at 27 or 28. This might be something that's grabbed from a website and then blown up and then sent to you. The quality is not very good, but when you can identify that a customer has sent you a a good quality image such as this bulldog here at 300 dpi to size and it's very clean you realize here that you don't have to vector trace this you can actually run right through simple steps raster then right through simple steps smart rip 4.0 and then get on press with your color separations now usually what i'll do with one of these files is the first thing i'll do is some analysis just as such as i just went through with the resolution there the other thing i want to know is if there's a background behind the object or if it's transparent i can make a rectangle here and just fill that and I'll just right click that and I'll select order and I'll go to back of page and I can see I've got some white here in the background I'm going to want to knock that out so the first thing I do in my separation process I go ahead and select this and I come up here to edit bitmap and I go ahead and open this in Corel photo paint once my image is open in photo paint I'll just go ahead and move this over here I want to maximize this and I very simply want to knock out this white background. I can see this came as a background object. The first thing I'm going to do is change this to a regular object. So I'll just left click on this icon over here. Background. Now this is just a regular object. So when I try to knock out the background that I select here, it's going to be transparent and I'll be able to knock that out. And I'll simply come over here to my magic wand tool. Go ahead and left click here and you can see now I've got an outline around the entire graphic. Go ahead and zoom in here and I'll just push forward with my mouse wheel here until I get zoomed in. I can see how tight that is and that's going to be okay right there coming in off the white. So making sure that I have the magic wand tool selected, I'm just going to simply hit the delete key and now I've knocked that background white out so I'm not going to get that in my color separations. That is if I was printing on a dark or a colored garment. If I was just printing on a white garment that would not be important. I wouldn't have to color separate the white. So let me go to mask and remove here and then I'll go ahead and click save and I can go ahead and close photo paint and my graphic is ready for color separation. Next thing I do is simply go to my advanced tools and I go to my simple steps raster. Now if you're in Corel Draw X7 you're going to have to go to window, dockers and all the way down here to the bottom you'll find your advanced tools and that'll be over here in a docker in, in X7 but we've got that up here in the menu bar in X6. Go ahead and go to simple steps raster let that load and then I'm going to go to my click steps tab and I'm just going over here to the eyedropper I'll go ahead and click that you can see I have an eyedropper now in my workspace here I'll select the red come over here this little green button here I'll go ahead and click on that there will be my red I'll do the same for the gray here I'll go ahead and click on that button I'll do the same here for the blue click on that button and then I'll go ahead and do the same for the white just click click and come and set my white. Now, if I go ahead and separate this as a perfect spot, and I'll go ahead and show you the difference here. And we'll go ahead and let this run. I'll click on click steps now, and we'll let that process. Now once that's finished, I can see over here in the page that I've got a gap here between my blue and my gray, and that's because I did a perfect spot. So where there was anti-aliasing, there was no color pulled or separated. But there's a way to deal with that working with Simple Steps Raster when you do your color separations. Now this is a custom separation page, so I'll go ahead and close this. And I'll come back here and I'll go back to my click steps. I'll still have this set up, but instead of doing a perfect spot, I'm going to do a trap spot. I'll just come through here. And a trap spot, what that's going to do is that's going to expand the color separation of each one of these colors by one pixel or spread it out so you won't have that gap after you run your separation. So setting up everything is a trapped spot. I'll go ahead and click on click steps and we'll let that process our color separations. And now that we can see that we've run everything as a trapped spot, we no longer have a gap between our colors and we have 
very clean bitmap color separation setup working with the trap spot color pull working from Simple Steps Raster. Now I know this isn't high-end simulated process but you can see that I was able to take the file, select the colors, generate the separations and now I'm ready to go ahead and set up my color separations and get this out to press. So I'll go ahead and set this up on my page here. I'll be done with Simple Steps Raster for now. I'll go to my advanced tools. I'll go to Simple Steps 4. We'll let that load. I'll simply come here to color management. I've got everything selected there. Create selection palette. Select all. One click conversion to get our Pantone spot colors. Come over here to separations. I'll come here to half tones. Do a white base. We'll make that untinted. We'll go with a two point choke. We could do a don't choke white if we just wanted to hit one white with our don't choke white option, but we'll leave a white highlight for this one. Then we've got our red, our blue, and our gray here. Go to my all black, click on generate separations, and let that process. Once that's finished, I'll have my halftone preview. Here's my original on page one. There's my halftone preview. Here's my underbase. That'll be choked two pixels. There's my pan tone color separations, and I'm ready to go out to press. And I didn't have to vector trace anything or send anything out to be vector traced because I was able to identify that this was a file that I could use with the trap spot colors working out of Simple Steps Raster to very easily and quickly generate a spot color separation from a client supplied bitmap file and get that out on film and get that out to press. Just a quick tutorial on working with our trap spot color separations coming out of Simple Steps Raster and going through Simple Steps Smart Rip 4.0. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.